is about natural and nude looking makeup which actually is a little more difficult than it sounds to get because for most of us we don't have perfect skin and we still want some level of contouring on the face and emphasis on certain features so it is as complicated as a regular look in terms of products but I'm going to focus on the one thing that makes a nude look truly nude and that is flawless skin and your skin has to be flawless to pull this look off simply because there is nothing else to take away um, the emphasis on any flaws you might have in your skin like I've got a few sort of blemishes, like under eye circles if you're wearing other makeup, like a bold lipstick or lots of blusher or a bold eye look, that kind of detracts from your skin. So if you want to pull off this look, it's really key to look at your foundation and concealer. Always start your makeup routine with a good moisturiser. So let's say you're going to put your makeup on, you've got a few minutes. Um, so I've been using a really nice little... Uh, Let's see if I can get that into shots. A very nice day cream, and it's by Fleur de Bach, and it's basically an organic day cream which is packed full of aromatherapy and organic natural ingredients, and it's beautiful. I'm gonna pop that on the back of my hand because I've already moisturized this morning. I just want to show you how creamy, it doesn't feel oily, but it is very rich. So it's wonderful for this time of year when it's starting to get cold and horrible. Uh, it just smells amazing, absolutely amazing. Floral, but not heavy. And my hands feel really nice, so it makes very good hand cream as well. It's taken me a while to understand that my skin changes with the seasons and as I age. So the one foundation I may have used in my 20s doesn't suit me now. So at the moment, I am favouring several foundations depending on my mood. But if I want full coverage for a flawless look, I am bound to use a combination of products and I'm going to start with a good foundation and this one is Face Atelier number no. 7 it's their ultra foundation in tan and this is my base I'm going to just give myself a nice sheer cover of this it's fabulous and it's 32 pounds uh, if you buy it from the Cocoa Bow website, like I did. But you can buy a sample for a pound, I think it is. So it's very important to start with a light base, which does cover, let's say, 80% of any flaws that you may have in your skin. You can use a brush or a sponge but this is just me, so I'm going to use my fingers. Really take it under the eyes. I'm not going to take it over the eyes because I've got other products that will sort out the discoloration there. I'm just concentrating on under the eyes and down the sides of the nose. Now the next thing I'm going to use is an under eye concealer, just to brighten up that area a touch. You can see just in the corners, we just want to add a little brightness. So although this doesn't hide darkness it does brighten it up so I've already sort of done away with any darkness using my foundation and now I'm just brightening up that area it's a foundation um, a mineral foundation because it's light but it's packed full of pigment so this is optional if this is enough for you which is this kind of enough for me then that's great but I've got one here this one is called vision and it's a surreal skin foundation by Urban Decay. So I tend to place that just on the cheeks really, just to just add a bit more colour. Because no matter what foundation I use, it tends to leak the colour out of my face. So I kind of want to just pop a bit back. And minerals, bronzers are great for that. So you can see that's just 
made my skin feel and look a bit more natural. Now the next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows and I'm going to keep this really natural by using my favourite pen and I'm not going to be too heavy handed. I'm just going to apply it and then brush it through. Just get my brush and then just brush it through so that it looks really natural and not too structured. All it's doing is filling in. That just gives me a little bit of extra. Because otherwise my eyebrows tend to look a bit sort of wishy-washy. Now I take a touch of eyelid primer. Just a tiny amount. People always overdo it with their eyelid primer. You need the tiniest, weeniest bit and just cover the lid, not the whole eye area. And you can see that's lightened up a lot of the discoloration. So that's great. Now I've got a fairly neutral palette here. I don't know what the colors are because I've had them for so long, but in this palette, I have a matte creamy colour, um, then I have a matte brown, a shimmery apricot colour, and a matte grey. I'm just going to use that. Grab a brush. I'm going to start with the matte cream, which is our all over colour, just all over the lid. It's brilliant. It locks down. That sort of primer gives us a great base for the rest of our eyeshadows to go over. There, that's just locked that down completely. Now I'm going to take that shimmery apricot colour and place the tiniest bit on the inner corner. A weeny bit under the brow, just in the middle. I tend not to go all the way out for a day look. Just under the high point of your brow, directly above your pupil. That bit of hair out of the way. Get out of the way. Now I'm going to take that dark brown and pop that on the outer corner. I'm being very gentle. Not very much, but enough to add a little bit of depth to the eyes. Just adds a bit of warmth. Now I'm going to take my grey and run that along the top lash line. I'm not going to use any liner. Just smooth that in. So there we've got that really natural shape. The only thing to do is take a touch of that brown and I'm going to work it into the crease. Like so. Just helps my eyes stand out a bit. grab a blender brush and just whip that all into shape. I'm going to apply a bit of a very natural looking blusher and it is this one. You can see it is kind of a brownie, it's definitely brown but it has it's a chestnut colour. So if you think of conkers, um, horse chestnuts, it's that sort of colour and it's very very good for this time of year and this sort of look. So I'm just going to grab a blusher brush and then pick on my face. I want to go into the hollows pretty much. It's 
bits of hair get away. And that is how to get it really natural. So I'm using it almost as a contour and a blush, but it's doing a good job. Now over the lips, another brown. This look is all about brown. And this one is called Fair Brown, and it's a mineral lipstick by e.l.f. And it's superb for this, because it's such a natural colour. But it will even out the pigmentation, because I have dark bits and light bits on my lips. Go easy with the mascara for a natural look. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep everything nice and even so no one thing is vying for attention other than your flawless natural looking skin. Now, not all of us can have flawless natural looking skin. In fact, I don't know anyone who has it. So I'm just gonna use a regular mascara and top mascara tip that I'm sure I've said to you before is take your mascara wand and scrape off all the excess. You don't need it. It'll stop it all clumping as well. So just use quick movements to get a nice coating like so. and sort of spread the lashes out so they look fresh and open, like so. And that is how to achieve the natural look. There weren't many products, but most of them, there are probably about 10 products there, but half of them were for your, your sort of skin and face rather than eyes and lips. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.